discover some of the most spectacular images captured by the James Webb Telescope, from the Cartwheel Galaxy to the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula. The James Webb Space Telescope, which will be launched on December 25, 2021, is the largest and most sensitive observatory yet sent into space. The telescope's construction was a major endeavor for NASA, requiring approximately 20 years and $10 billion. However, many experts believe that the photographs captured by the James Webb Space Telescope prove that the effort was worthwhile. Within a few months of its deployment, the James Webb Space Telescope has already delivered data on two newly discovered galaxies, including Galaxy 13, one of the most distant galaxies yet discovered. Even seasoned astronomers were astonished to see fresh portions of the distant universe as they looked billions of years ago at these images. However, this is only the beginning. Images from the James Webb Telescope will continue to arrive for as long as the observatory exists, maybe up to 10 years. Experts believe that the universe is around 13.8 billion years old, and it is hoped that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to investigate as much of this cosmic history as feasible. View some of the most stunning photographs obtained by the James Webb Telescope to date in the gallery below. The Intricate Development of the James Webb Space Telescope NASA's path to constructing the James Webb Space Telescope was arduous. In 1996, the first steps were taken to develop a successor to the renowned Hubble Space Telescope. However, the James Webb Space Telescope did not receive its official moniker until 2002. Things only became more tricky at that point. Launching the James Webb Space Telescope took significantly longer than anticipated due to unanticipated modifications in the telescope's construction, delayed launches, and the observatory's escalating cost. As the price steadily climbed to $10 billion, it became increasingly vital that the costly technology not fail. The launch of the telescope from French Guiana in 2021 was hailed as a great success by numerous experts, despite the numerous disagreements over the cost, schedule, and nomenclature. And now that the observatory is located deep within the universe, experts can take advantage of its many benefits. According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared observatory which means it can observe the universe at infrared wavelengths. Though the telescope is not the first device to use infrared technology, it features the near-infrared camera, the most sensitive infrared camera ever sent into deep space, in cam This permits us to observe portions of the universe that no other telescope, not even the renowned Hubble, has ever caught. In fact, Webb has already provided us with some of the clearest images of space we've ever seen, aiding in the unraveling of the universe's mysteries. 28 beautiful images capturing the majesty of our universe, captured by the James Webb Telescope. The cosmic cliffs, or the margin of NGC 3324, is a star-forming area. This breathtaking picture is located approximately 7,000, 600 light years away in the Carina Nebula. This image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope reveals previously obscured regions of star formation. This image of the Cartwheel Galaxy and its partner galaxies is a composite of the near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument of the James Webb Space Telescope. This galaxy, which is located approximately 500 million light years away, was produced when a big galaxy and a smaller galaxy collided at great speed. The Tarantula Nebula is a huge star forming area in the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy, which is 161,000 light years distant. In this image, the James Webb Space Telescope's Enaya Arkham catches the nebula in a whole new light, revealing previously unseen stars. A massive mosaic depicting Stephen's Quintet, a collection of five galaxies. Despite the fact that the leftmost galaxy is significantly closer to Earth than the others, 40 million light-years versus 290 million light-years, 
but the grouping is nonetheless impressive. The creation of this image, acquired by Webb's Enile Cam and Miurai, needed more than 150 million pixels and 1,000 image files. Hubble was unable to detect ribbon-like parts of star formation in the galaxy NGT 7496, but the James Webb Space Telescope can. Moreover, this galaxy is around 24 million light-years away. Galaxy cluster SMACS 723 displays a variety of hues when observed in Webb's mid-infrared light left, as opposed to its near-infrared light right right. IC5332 has a diameter of around 66,000 light-years, making it approximately two-thirds the size of the Milky Way. This galaxy is famous for its orientation toward Earth, which affords us this wonderful picture. This image of the spiral galaxy NGC 1300 combines observations from multiple telescopes, including infrared images from the web, ultraviolet light captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, data from the Very Large Telescope's Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer, and radio light captured by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array RLMR. This newly discovered distant galaxy, designated Gilas 13, dates back 300 million years after the Big Bang. This pair of stars, known as the Wolf Rayet 140, produces dust rings approximately every eight years due to their orbit and interaction. This intriguing cosmological fingerprint lies around 5,000 light years away. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, even familiar solar system objects can be examined in a new light. Here, the renowned Great Red Spot, Jupiter's weak rings, and Europa's moon are visible. The NIRCAM image of Neptune, captured by the Webb Space Telescope, brings the planet's rings into sharp focus for the first time in almost three decades. Despite being vastly larger than Earth, Neptune appears comparatively little in the vastness of the universe. M74, a spiral galaxy, is at its brightest in this view, which combines data from the Webb and Hubble telescopes. This galaxy is located approximately 32 million light-years distant. Southern Ring Nebula, approximately 2,500 light-years away. The central brilliant star performs a supporting role in the formation of the surrounding nebula. Here, the Carina Nebula is depicted in a composite image created by combining data from the James Webb Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory, resulting in a brighter and more enriched image. Combining the data from the James Webb Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory on the Cartwheel Galaxy reveals rays emitted from the superheated plasma, burst stars, and the relics of these stars. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of NIR-SAM, left and MIRI, right, images of the Tarantula Nebula obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope, right. This nebula, located in the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy, is the greatest star-forming zone in the vicinity of our own galaxy. Webb's discovery of Stephen's Quintet, when paired with data from Chandra X-ray Observatory and NASA's decommissioned Spitzer Space Telescope, reveals a hitherto undetected shockwave heating gas to tens of millions of degrees. One of the galaxies traveling past the others at around 2 million miles per hour generates this shockwave. Both the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope contributed to the creation of this image of the galaxy pair VV191. The Webb instrument studied the elliptical galaxy left and the spiral galaxy right in near-infrared light, while the Hubble instrument gathered additional data on the galaxies in visible and ultraviolet light. This image of the galaxy cluster SMACS 723 captured by the James Webb Telescope incorporates gravitational lensing. With the addition of Chandra X-ray observatory data to this James Webb Telescope image of SMACS 723 superheated gas, which is only visible with the aid of X-ray photons, can be seen clearly. A side-by-side -side comparison 
illustrating how several space observatories might collaborate. Here, a Hubble image, left, a web image, right, and a composite image containing data from both observatories, middle, depict the spectacular N74 galaxy. In this side-by-side -side image of the Southern Ring Nebula captured by the James Webb Telescope, a disk galaxy is visible exactly edge-on. This vantage position allows experts to examine the central bulge of the galaxy in more detail. In this instance, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope observed the same object simultaneously. Observations of the asteroid Dimorphos made by Hubble on the left and Webb on the right, many hours after NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DLT, intentionally impacted the moonlet. Exoplanet LHS 3844. The planet, located 49 light years away, is believed to have surface temperatures of approximately 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Exoplanet Wawaiis 39 bits. Due to the near proximity of this gas giant to its star, Wawaiis 39 bits is incredibly hot. It is also likely tidally locked, with one side always facing the star. One of the most breathtaking views obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope to date is the Pillars of Creation, a cosmic nursery full of young stars in the about 6,500 light years away Eagle Nebula. Later on, some astronomers aim to utilize the telescope to learn more about the enigmatic dark matter that helps shape the universe's other components. If such a biosphere exists, the telescope may be able to detect an alien biosphere on another Earth-like planet. It even has the capacity to ascertain the true expansion rate of space. In addition to answering centuries-old concerns, astronomers believe that the images captured by the James Webb Telescope may stimulate new ones in the future. Obviously, we have a great deal more to learn about the universe.